Hey there, thank you for coming back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. Have you ever wondered how I obtain all of the Korean cosmetic products that I review on this channel even though I don't live in Korea? Well today I am going to spill all of my secrets when it comes to obtaining Korean cosmetics online. So let's navigate the internet together and see where are all the places that I often get my Korean cosmetics. So there are four different ways that I have been using to obtain my Korean cosmetic products. The first is by buying through the brand's websites themselves. The second is by buying through online resellers or online distributor of the products. The third is by using a buying service who is based in Korea. And lastly, I can also obtain my Korean cosmetic products through sites that are very similar to Amazon or eBay, but are based in Korea or in Asia. So we'll now talk about each of these ways in more details, and I'll also talk about my experience as well as what I think are the pros and cons of each of the way to obtain Korean cosmetic products. Let's talk about the first method that I use to obtain Korean cosmetics by buying through the official websites of different brands. Now, this is the way that you are probably going to get the highest level of confidence that your products are authentic, and also because these brands only sell their products on their official websites, they are pretty up to date with new products. So you are probably going to get the first access on newest release from the brand if you buy from the website. However, there is a reason that I don't use this method very often and that I don't use this method to obtain products from a lot of brands. And that is because of international shipping restrictions as well as international shipping fee. I found that not a lot of Korean brands offer international shipping on their website and even fewer brands actually offer free international shipping when you reach a certain limit in your purchase amount. The couple of brands that do actually offer free international shipping when you reach a limit are Clio, Etude House, 3CE, and Laka. Mute Makeup I have actually also purchased from their website, and the shipping fee was actually pretty reasonable at about $10. But this is a rarity, because a lot of the times these Korean brands will offer you a shipping fee that is higher than the amount of money you're paying for the products themselves, making it unreasonable for you to buy the products on their official website. Another issue that I have with buying from official websites of brands, particularly with buying on official global websites, is that there are some products from these brands that are limited release, which means that they're only going to be released in Asia or in Korea alone. This means that even if you really like the look of some products, looking at the PR images, you're not going to be able to obtain them on the official websites. But you will actually be able to obtain them using one of the other three methods that I'm going to be talking about in a little bit. So far, I have had limited experience buying from official websites. However, all the experiences that I have had have been very good. With Clio, Etude House, and 3CE, I had always been able to receive my products within a week of the purchase date, and the products always come very nicely wrapped, and I always receive a very generous amount of samples as well. Not with 3CE, but certainly with Clio and Etude House, I always receive a lot of samples. The other thing is with all three of these brands, you will have to create a member account before you can place an order. But with this member account, you will be able to receive extra discount and you will also be able to accumulate points from your purchases on these brands' websites so that later you can exchange them for dollar amount. So these are the few pros and cons of buying from official websites of Korean brands. The second method that I have been using to obtain my Korean products are through online reseller or online distributor of the products I want to purchase. A couple of examples of these are Style Korean, Rose Rose Shop, Beauty Box Korea, and Global Olive Young. Now with Global Olive Young and Style Korean, these are companies that are based in Korea and they do offer free shipping when you reach a certain purchase limit. With Global Olive Young, this limit is 60 US dollars, and with Style Korean, this limit is 80 US dollars. 
With Beauty Box Korea and Rose Row Shop, there isn't free shipping and you will have to pay a shipping fee. But you do have a choice of what shipping service you want to use in order to maximize your savings. Just like when you purchase products on the official websites of Korean brands, you will also need to make an account in order to place a purchase on all four of these websites. With Global Olive Young and Style Korean, when you make a membership account, you will also receive a very regular discount coupon that you can apply to your purchase. A lot of the times, these coupons don't actually apply to your whole purchase. They will apply to the highest price items or items that meet a certain criteria. But these do help to bring the overall price down. I've also seen that Global Olive Young have been releasing coupons pretty much every single week since the beginning of 2021. And Style Korean always have time deals items as well as brand sales every single week. So you should watch out for the emails from these websites in order to catch your favorite products or brands when they are on sale. Now, I think because Style Korean and Global Olive Young do offer international shipping when you meet a certain purchase limit, they try to pack your items in the smallest box possible while still ensuring that there is enough packaging so that your products don't come to you damaged. I really like this about both of these websites because I have a slight stigma for over-the-top packaging because all of these packaging would just come to me and become trash pretty much immediately. So I would rather that I produce less trash than more. And Global Olive Young and Style Korean have always been really good about packaging items so they come to me fresh and brand new and undamaged while keeping the amount of packaging down. However, also because they offer free international shipping when you reach a purchase limit, I have found that particularly with Global Olive Young, a lot of the items will be available to you to purchase at a higher price than I can find them elsewhere. So remember to always check the coupons available and apply them whenever you can when you purchase with Global Olive Young. I also know that for some of you, Global Olive Young has stopped shipping to your country. So definitely check the frequently asked question part and also the shipping and return policy so that you know if the Global Olive Young website will ship to your country. Same thing with Style Korean. Style Korean has made some notice about changes in shipping schedule as well as shipping destinations. So check that always before you purchase on these websites. Let's also talk about Rose Row Shop and Beauty Box Korea. Both of these are online resellers, and this could mean that items that are available on their websites are not actually readily available in their stock. However, if you place an order on the websites, someone from the company will then go out and obtain the product for you, bring it back, pack all the items that you order into one package, and then ship the package out for you. I found that even though this is the case, both websites keep pretty good track of what is available to obtain and what kind of stock they have of each items. So only once before have Beauty Box Korea contacted me about an item that was out of stock and the refunding process was pretty easy for that out of stock item as well. Between the two websites, I've used Beauty Box Korea more often and this is because Beauty Box Korea staff is very, very good at keeping their website up to date with new releases. Pretty much the moment that something become available in Korea, I am like 95% sure that is also available on the Beauty Box Korea website for me to purchase. The other thing that I like about Beauty Box Korea is the amount of care that they put into packaging items. Every single time that I order from Beauty Box Korea, all of my items have come in pristine condition and they put wrapping not just outside of the items themselves, but also inside the items so that none of the powder products got broken and sort of scattered around in the package itself. I highly recommend that you check out Beauty Box Korea if you are someone who is after some newer release in Korean cosmetics or if you want to find a Pacific limited edition cosmetic products that might not necessarily be available outside of Korea. 
The other thing about both of these websites is that they actually also accept buying requests. What these are, are forms that you fill out by yourself. And by submitting these forms, you're requesting the people behind these websites to look into obtaining certain items that are not already available on their websites. I have not used this service on either website, so I'm not sure how this goes. But if you are one of the viewers of this video and you have had experience using this buying request on either of these websites, we would love to hear from you in the comment section below. The third method, also the one that I have the least experience with, is using a buying service that is based in Korea. A couple of examples of these are Aveco and Korean Buddy. Since I've only had experience with Aveco, I'm only going to talk about Aveco in this video. But if you are one of my viewers and you have used Korean Buddy before, we would love to hear your review of this service in the comment section below. Now, with Aveco, what you will do first is you will go and fill out a buying request form on their website. Once you have filled out this buying request form, you will then submit it and then wait for a couple of days. After a couple of days, a member of the Aveco staff will contact you and let you know if they could obtain all the items that you requested or if some of the items have been out of stock. They will also tell you what the prices are for these items. Usually, there will be a little bit of a surcharge on these items, which is the price you pay for a person to go out and obtain the products for you. There are quite a number of shipping options on Aveco website, and you can learn all about it by going to Aveco. My entire experience buying with Aveco was pretty pleasant, save for the amount of time that I actually had to wait for the whole package to arrive. However, this could also be my fault because I was being a cheapskate and didn't choose a higher tier of shipping option. When I got the package to my address and opened it, I could see that the Aveco staff have actually repackaged all of the items that I order in my order so that they are nice and safe inside the package. And I'm very happy with how the products came to me. The obvious pros with buying with Aveco or other buying services that are based in Korea is that you can, one, combine your purchases from multiple different websites into a single package, which then will be shipped to you. And two, you can actually ask these buying services to try and obtain limited release items that are not easily available outside of Korea. The cons with buying through buying services is that one, you will actually have to wait quite a long time before you can receive your items. This is because once you submit a buying request, you will actually have to wait for a person to check it, come back to you, then you have to wait some more for them to obtain the product, then pay the shipping fee, and then wait some more to get your items in your hand. The other thing is the surcharge amount that these buying services ask for buying these items for you can sometimes be quite a bit. And so I would only advise that you use these kind of buying services if the products is absolutely not available anywhere else. Finally, we have come to the last method of obtaining Korean cosmetics that I have been using. This is my favorite method, also my most used method, and that is buying from websites that are similar to Amazon or eBay, but are based in Korea or in Asia. Some examples of these websites are YesStyle, which is based in Hong Kong, G Market and 11th Street Global, which are based in Korea, and then QOO10.com, which is based in Singapore. Out of these websites, I used to use YesStyle a lot because they do offer free international shipping when you reach a certain purchase limit, and they also always have some discount coupon going on. But YesStyle has recently not been very good at updating all the newer releases in Korean cosmetics, so I have switched to using G Market more often. I'm going to now help you navigate the G Market as well as 11 Street Global websites, since both of these websites do require that you know a little bit of Korean. Here we are on the homepage of G Market. Note that the shipping destination will be defaulted to South Korea because this is the first time that you will be logging into this website. 
Make sure that you change the shipping destination before doing your shopping, as well as choose the correct currency that you want to use so that the price is reflected correctly. I'm going to choose the shipping destination to be United States just for kicks and just so that we can understand how the sites work. Also, note that to be able to place an order on Gmarket, you will have to make an account with this website. The signing in registering process is just as usual um, and it's not too hard to navigate even if you don't speak Korean. Let's do a little bit of scrolling now. Now, if you scroll down, you will see some super deal. So these are brands that are offering very, very good price items at the moment. And a lot of the times you can find sort of combo or sets of cosmetic products that will be at a much lower price than you can obtain them individually. Um, as you can see, you can obtain more than just Korean cosmetics. You can also get K-pop albums clothes, household items, all that stuff. Let's do a search for S-bar. So I found that if I use English to do my search, it's fine. It would be better if I use um, Korean in my search. Now, I like to click on the mini shop of the brand that I'm shopping for because then I can see if they have specific coupons or specific deals for their own items. Make sure that you see an airplane icon on top of the item that you want to purchase before purchasing it because that means that there is international shipping offered for that item. Let's click on Espoir Real Eye Palette. Now you can see that there's already a 20% discount and you can click on the item that you want to get which there's an error right now I'm not sure why but that is the idea. Also before you check out make sure always to check the event coupon tab. So here is where all of the coupon offerings for whatever period of time you're looking into the website will be available to you. If you are a newcomer to Gmarket, you will get some 20% coupon for one single item. And then brands that have mini shop on Gmarket also have coupons that are specified in terms of the number of times you can download the coupon a day, the download period, what kind of price you have to reach before you can apply the coupon, etc. Always check this part before you do your checkout so you don't miss a good deal. Now we have switched to 11 Street Global, which is the other Korean website that I often use to obtain my Korean cosmetics. This site is pretty similar to Gmarket in terms of how it operates, but in order to find out if international shipping is offered for an item or not, you will look for this icon, which says international shipping with an airplane icon next to it. And then when you have clicked on the item, you need to make sure before you add anything to the cart that you click international shipping. So how do I usually pick items to purchase from 11 Street Global? Now, even though everything here is in Korean, if you don't know any Korean, that's fine. You can still purchase things just fine. Look at this listing. So every single item has a number that comes with it. This is the number that you're going to memorize or remember to pick when you go back up to the selector. Let's say I want to purchase item number three, which is the new My Fave Mood eyeshadow palettes that are being released for the spring summer season. That is item number three. Scrolling up, I pick the third item down in the list. This amount already reflect the inclusion of the brand coupon, so there's nothing for you to do here. However, there are also coupons that are available site-wide and you click on the promo to find out what kind of coupons there are. There are some coupons for um, purchase limit and then also shipping coupon, which will lower the shipping fee for your whole purchase. Before I lose my voice, let's quickly talk about all the differences between Gmarket and 11th Street Global that I want you to be aware of so that you can make an informed decision about where to purchase your products. 
first of all, when it comes to shipping fee, G market shipping fee is usually lower than 11th Street Global, at least for my region. This is probably because G market uses DHL as the shipping service for my region, whereas 11th Street Global uses EMS. When it comes to shipping my weight, DHL is the way to go. And since cosmetic products are heavy but not big, this is why I prefer G market when it comes to shipping fee. Now, G Market also has more sales more regularly compared to 11th Street Global, and the coupon offering that G Market has is also more abundant than the coupon offering of 11th Street Global. There are also more brands that offer international shipping to more countries on G Market compared to on 11th Street Global. However, there are certain brands that you will only be able to find on 11th Street Global. And there are also certain brands that only do their pre-launching event on 11th Street Global or who will choose to make their products available on 11th Street Global before G Market. So these are all the things that you should definitely take into account when you are trying to decide which service, which website to use to purchase your Korean cosmetics products. That is everything for today's video, guys. After this outro, I'm going to go make myself a big mug of tea to soothe my throat from talking too much. I certainly hope that this video was useful and that you are not bored of me talking in so much details about all of the ways I obtain my Korean cosmetic products. Hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video and also found it useful. And also consider subscribing to my channel for more content on Korean beauty in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.